all areas of daily life, we recognize technology is on the rise. New sensors, faster controllers, more memory space, communication over the air, enable new functions. Therefore, assisted driving, automated driving, or even autonomous driving is becoming more and more popular. But what we currently see are showcases. And from the promises of the past, we now rush into a valley of tears. Good old electric electronic architectures are not prepared yet for these changes. We need service orientation. Lucky who can start on a green field. But the burden, especially for the German automotive industry, is the success of the past. Never change a winning team. But what do you do if the environment and the rules change? Artificial intelligence, machine learning are introduced. Therefore, new processes, methods and tools are needed to cope with all these challenges. And there is a need to reuse existing knowledge and to be prepared and open-minded for new experiences. Especially in the area of model-based design, variance and versions management, validation and verification, we still lag behind. Therefore, it's extremely important to renew the way how we build software in vehicles and to guarantee safety and security. Simulation is one of the promising ways, or even the only way, to open that gate into that bright future of auto mobility. So we have just heard about the importance of IT transformation for the automotive industry. And as a provider for simulation solutions, we have actually been right at the heart of this development together with our customers for quite a long time now. But Raphael, from your perspective, what would you say? What more will simulation be able to contribute to this with regards um, to the increasingly important aspect of artificial intelligence? Very interesting question. The key to the use of AI is, of course, in addition to the use of the right processes and algorithms, the right handling of data. Basically, that becomes obvious when we have a look at autonomous driving. As we all know, it is no longer sufficient to simply drive test kilometers on the road, quite simply because the scenarios or data that are actually interesting and relevant occur too rarely by far. And this offers room for new approaches and innovations in the context of simulation. On the one hand, scenarios and data can be generated synthetically in a targeted manner, which in turn enable AI-based algorithms such as object detection and recognition functions to be trained and in this way to be improved. On the other hand, AI methods themselves can also be used, for example, to optimize the buildup of simulation environments and scenarios with a higher degree of automation. And these are precisely the topics we are currently pursuing with our new innovation team at IPG Automotive. But of course, we are also looking at other issues relating to technologies, methods, and processes outside of AI. Anyway, to apply such issues on the market, it is definitely important to um, involve our customers at an early stage in order to drive these innovations in the right direction and in good time. Exactly. So that's why we have been conducting successful joint research projects with many of our customers and partners for years now. And for us, these projects are a really good opportunity to discuss and to exchange ideas with partners, not only from the industry, but also from research. And this gives us a better understanding of the requirements that arise from our customers' new developments, such as V2X or cooperative driving. And at an early stage, we are able to understand these requirements, and it allows us to create the conditions for ideal simulation solutions there. And with regards to autonomous driving, projects such as Set Level 45, for example, create a common understanding of the challenges that the whole in German automotive industry is facing right now. And often, it's exactly the standards that are created, used, and further developed in those projects, such as OpenX for scenario-based testing, that create the perfect foundations for further innovations there. But also on a global level, for example, at our location in the UK, we are working on driving exciting and innovative topics forward. 
Thanks, Marina. Yes, certainly some exciting stuff going on in the innovation space in the UK. Firstly, I'd like to mention Vivid, the Innovate UK project. It's a forward-led consortium which is trying to accelerate and promote the use of virtual vehicle development in the commercial vehicle space. Commercial vehicles obviously having quite a different set of needs and requirements compared to passenger cars. So building those models with the right level of fidelity to give us the behaviours we're after has been a really interesting challenge. Secondly, I'd like to mention a number of apps that we're trialling with customers around the world. Parts of these apps have been built by the UK team. And the focus is on non-geometric data management, automated model build, model release, and model checking, so that generally you get a much more efficient use of models and data throughout your virtual engineering processes. More to come on that in the very near future, but I can't mention it now. Finally, I'd like to mention our partnership with Project Aslan. Project Aslan is an open source AV stack and we're also working with Street Drone to provide customers who maybe aren't OEMs with their own fleet of vehicles with uh, the ability to test ADAS and AV systems in a much more uh, efficient fashion. So you can take the CarMaker ROS integration that we've developed with Aslan, run it in a number of scenarios within CarMaker, and then move immediately into, say, a street drone vehicle in the loop environment, so a physical vehicle with a simulated environment, and validate those systems and features that you've been developing virtually. So lots of cool stuff coming with these guys in the near future, and I look forward to updating you. Thanks. Thank you, Elliot, for this valuable insight into the UK market. It's really great to see the innovative topics going on all over the world.